India's southern state of Kerala is witnessing the worst floods in nearly a century. More than 40 people have been killed. Tens of thousands have been stranded. The loss of life and property is increasing by the day. Relief and rescue teams are working round the clock to ensure minimum casualty. The worst, though, is not over yet. India's weather department has forecast heavy to very heavy rain in the state until Saturday. This is the face of Kerala's disastrous floods. Over 40 people have lost their lives, 33 dams have been opened and over 1 lakh people have been affected. Many districts in the state have been inundated with water following heavy rains and controlled discharge from dams. Iduki and Vayanad are the worst hit districts while Palakkad, Malapuram, Kodikod and Arunakulam too have been badly affected. There has been widespread destruction following the inclement weather since August 8th. The opening of dams has resulted in massive damage to crops and properties. Reports suggest that one lakh people stand affected by these floods. Yeah, we have already evacuated uh, in uh, Idiki Taluk itself, not because of the uh, shutter opening, but uh, due to the calamities, we have almost 550 people staying in uh, almost 10 camps in Idiki. Uh, in the Muna region also we have a large number of people, Devigulam region also we have a large number of people being moved to the camps, almost 800 people are in the camps. So uh, many of the people have moved to their relatives or uh, siblings houses. The rainfall and the consequent floods have triggered landslides which have cut off access to many places. Armed Forces personnel, NDRF, State Police and the Fire Service personnel are working round the clock to rescue people and provide food and medicine supplies to affected people. They are braving gushing waters to rescue people. A red alert has been issued in 14 districts of the state and August 16th has been declared a holiday for all educational institutions including professional colleges in eight districts. The Kochi Airport too has suspended all operations till Saturday. According to the latest reports, water entered one of the operational areas of the airport and that's when this decision was taken. These are being seen as the worst floods since 1924 and over one lakh people have been sent to relief camps. Bureau report beyond.